watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. You never know who's going to be the guy to step up for the Wildcats. Last game, of course, on Saturday, it was Keon Brooks. Well, the game before that, it was Kellen Grady taking over in overtime, knocking down big threes against Mississippi State. Granddad talked with Anna earlier today. All right, Kellen, let's talk Kansas. What a performance. What did that win in a place like the Fog do for the psyche of this team? It was huge for us. I think any road victory is always big for, for, for a team, but I think the stakes of that game and, and you know, just the hype around it, SEC Big 12 Challenge, and, and, and Kansas happened to be, I think, fits in the country at the time. And then, you know, Cal told us after that Bill Self was only lost. That was his 16th loss in 19 years um, at Fog Allen coaching Kansas. And, and just the fashion in, in which we beat them in and, and the statement that we made, I think, was uh, was huge for us. And now it's up to us to, to continue that and, and, and use it as a push to keep playing that efficiently and that tough. So. And not only did you have 12 points, but you shut down player of the year candidate Ochai Abaji, holding him to 13 points. How did you make it so difficult for him on Saturday? The coaches prepared us. Uh, Chin Coleman did as he always does, but he did it. And I'm, I told him, I actually shot him a text yesterday and said that was the most prepared I've ever been for a game in my career. Uh, and, and that was from a team standpoint. I, you know, we really did a really good job just preparing for, for all of their, their main actions, their sets for um, quick hitters, the way that they, they tried to use um, Oche and, 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 and get him shots and get him looks. And it was just up to me to, to stay detailed and, and, and to follow to follow the prep um, and, and thankfully I, I did a pretty good job on him I think. Now there was one moment in the game I think it was in the second half where Oscar grabbed three offensive rebounds in a row and it was like Kim three on ones against Kansas <laughs> players he finally gets the put back and then the ESPN announcers I know it was Jay Billis and maybe Dan Schulman but I believe they said that you just turned and looked straight at them almost just laughing in disbelief. What was going through your head in that moment? I thought he was doing it on purpose. I thought he was missing the layups on purpose just to get to get a couple more rebounds. I'm giving him a hard time, but and he's 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 incredible, honestly. I mean, he he was ripping he was ripping balls from their players left and right, and uh, I remember that moment. I just kind of had to look at uh, Jay and Dan Schulman and be like, "This guy's unbelievable." Oscar's been talk about player of the year. He's a he's a player of the year candidate himself, and he's been incredible for us. I like that you accused him of padding the stats, but it's so funny because when they said that, that was everybody's response, at least where I was watching the game. Everybody was like, what? And then it was funny to hear the guy say that you were doing the exact same thing, but describe Keon's performance. What was it like watching him go off like that? I'm so happy for him, man. He he he's worked so hard this year, and, and uh, Cal holds him accountable consistently, and, and he just, he really brought a lot of energy, and, and did all the little things, and then that resulted in in, in the offense. Um, he was blocking shots. He was getting big big time rebounds in traffic, and then you just saw how, how the game took off for him. And you know he probably had the best game of his career. And uh, it's a pretty pretty big stage and a, a pr pretty cool game to, to to have that. So we've been so good at at, at the four spot uh, with Keon, and then with Jacob, and uh, both. I think Jacob had. 11 points on four for four in 11 minutes. Despite the fact that Keon had an absolutely sensational game, Jacob was awesome in his in his limited minutes uh, deal and night too. So um, I'm, I'm so proud of Keon and I'm happy for him. And that was big for us. It was huge. And it seems like every game somebody new steps up. What do you think that says about your all's ability to make a deep run in March? We have a diverse and a deep team. If you, if you were to go down leading scores for all 17 of our wins, I'm, I'm sure it hasn't been the same guy more than three, four or five times. We're just so versatile and we, and we have a lot of options and um, we're so unselfish and we've all bought in. And it's clearly you, you observe the, the psyche and, it, and the spirit of our team and it, it, it's clearly not about one guy. It's not about one guy can consistently uh, you know, le leading the stat sheet or anything like that. It's it's what can we do to win? And we have enough good players where a lot of times it's, it, it can be anybody's night. And, and that's a, that's a, 
a lot of fun to be to be a part of. All right, big thanks to Granddad Grady for the time. Tom Leach joins us with more on the Cats right after this.